will estimate my head, stealing everything from ZZZ and the Inferno Rider. Am I right, chat? Did I just say chat to us or no one? Jesus Christ. Oh, did he cut the car? I know I'm kind of late to the party when it comes to Neverness to Everness. I had seen it very early on and I kept saying, I I'm going to react to it. I'm going to react to it. And then stuff happened. Life happened. Birthday happened. I had to socialize a lot and um, kind of kept rolling down the hill of priorities. But uh, here we are. I am not going to rewatch the first announcement. Um, it it kind of show. It's more of a stylistic um, cinematic to show like the game, the ID, uh, but we also have a 13 minute gameplay trailer. Actually, uh, I've learned that when it comes to, uh, oh my God, my cats are fighting. When it comes to China regulation, they actually have to show like at least 10 minutes of like, um, kind of for it to serve as a prototype so it can be like authorized essentially. Uh, so this is why we tend to have those long trailers, the same way we had like a 12 minute trailer for Azure Promilia, uh, or like gameplay, uh, demo kind of uh, situation. So anyway, let's have a look these, let's see how this plays. Uh, I've heard a lot, I haven't seen it myself so far, so let's have a look these. How does you, uh, it's obviously the people behind, um, Tower Fantasy, right? Uh, and I feel like, of course, uh, there's kind of two schools of thoughts, right? One. It's going to be as bad as Tower of Fantasy, which I think the biggest problem for Tower of Fantasy, first of all, it's an MMO. It's not actually going to hit exactly the same kind of people that are in the slain to Gacha, because I think MMO, generally speaking, are more time consuming. Uh, not that Gachas can't be, but generally speaking, if you once you're caught up, it takes a very short time to actually do your dailies and such, right? Uh, the other problem is obviously Tower Fantasy had a lot, and I mean a lot of issues when it first came out. I don't really know the state of the game because as many people did, I kind of dropped it early because it was in a bad state. So the question is, either it's going to be as bad, <laughs> let's hope not. That's the first train of thought. The other is that they have learned from their mistake. So... Hopefully, what we're going to see here is going to be more... Uh, maybe it will put us on the on the, the more hopeful side, but let's be cautious, I would say. So far, what I'm seeing, though, looks very beautiful. I love the colors, I love the aesthetic, um, and the characters seem to look great. So, let's see. Just cute. Maybe a bit bland. Like, th like if there is a protagonist... If, if this is a if there is a protagonist, this is a protagonist in my opinion. <laughs> it's like it's not overly complicated, uh, not like super like insane intricate design, but still relatively cute. She could be a protagonist, or like a early four star character. That's a five star character in my opinion. It's probably like uh, the the first five star, uh, probably like uh, either on the permanent banner or on, like the first pool, right? <laughs> if I had to say. I mean, it's a cat girl, she's cute, she's way more colors, design is more intricate, there's a, way more details, it's nice. She has a bell, so we know she can be outside without a supervisor. <laughs> ah, she's so cute! Ah, she's adorable! What the...? I, I, I guess that's cute. There's something about it was a bit creepy though. <laughs> oh, I think we saw this one in the other trailer. I feel like she might be... Ah, I don't know. She keep, she could be one of those, like... It's the free character you get in the beginning. Wait. Is that painting talking? Yeah, there's a dialogue box over it. So I don't know if it's because the painting itself is talking or if it's because it's just, like, information about it. I don't read Chinese, I'm sorry. Also, I'm sorry, this cat background noises. They're losing their mind. It is what it is. Okay, the house looks cool. It, it kind of gives me, you know, like a uh, uh, 20th century London vibes for some reason. And this gives me more 
Doctor Strange vibes. <laughs> Ooh, okay. I dig that. I dig that. That's a robot with a, a picture of the dog. Okay, now we're back to something a bit more uh, modern and urban. Nice mix so far. Uh, gives a little bit of ZZZ move. Actually, actually kind of gives me some personal vibes. But a bit more colorful. I mean, I know Persona is incredibly colorful, but I, I think you know what I mean. Okay. High contrast, I guess. So we seem to... Is this a full open world? Because like ZZZ, for example, Zenda Zone Zero, it is very restricted, the, the small areas, but here it seems to be at least a relatively big map. It's already bigger than what we have. We can get some food, obviously. Chef looks goofy. I like it. You have four party members in your team. It's interesting to see. I I'm kind of blocking some of it, but there's four of them. Um, compared to recently, we've had games with only three members, right? Like Wooden Waves, PGR. I mean, PGR is not recent, but yeah, Wooden Waves and ZZZ only have three members. They do seem to have elements, by the way. Um, I kind of want to hide my... I can't really, it's annoying. Uh, but anyway, one seems to have like... Uh, this one you can see, it seems to be light, maybe. The other one seems to have a kind of... Uh, it's kind of like green. So I wonder if it's wind or like plants. And the other one, I'm not sure if it's fire or, or ether or something like that. Like darkness, maybe. It's hard to say. But interesting to see the different uh, potential elements for the future gameplay. So I wonder if there's going to be some aspect of... Uh, you know, elemental reactions, or maybe more of a, you know, if you put them together, they're gonna have some synergistic elements like that, you know. Okay. That's super weird. But weirdly enough, this reminds me of, uh... That's really random. What was the game? Tokyo something? With like a, a bunch of yokai everywhere. Yeah, yeah. Very nice. I like the transition into this whole combat sequence. Monster designs are cool. I like the idea of just taking like urban items and like having them possessed by some kind of uh, yokai. Animation seems pretty smooth. Ultimate is nice. All right, I like that. I didn't really pay attention to... I was more into looking at the animations. In a broader sense. I didn't really... Oh, I like that effect. I don't know why the library really reminds me of uh, Near Replicant's library. <laughs> I, I love the, oh, the... The noises in the background. It feels really spoopy. It's like supernatural... Oh, I love this. What the hell? What is this control? <laughs> Jesus, it's like some M SCP stuff happening. I hate it. But I love it. It's terrible. It kind of feels like a, a scary persona. Or like an SMT, I suppose. It doesn't have to be persona. Oh, there seems to be. Look at that. There seems to be a lot of animation cancelled. Like switch cancel. Here, she switched before the end of the last hit animation, and here, she already switched back, but the cat girl is still doing a combo. Oh wait, no, 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 the combo... The cat girl was still in the field. Oh, is this some kind of coordinated attack? And here, there's a switch to the small girl, and the cat is finishing her entire combo. Big hammer user. Okay. It. Yeah, like, see that the small girl, like, even when she was switched, she, she was staying for a long time. Maybe it's just because the, the animation has a lot of. Um, uh, 
maybe it's just slow, right? But there's a word for it, but I... It's 6 a.m. <laughs> oh, now we see her from the back. I really like her dress, actually. Like the open zipper and a lot of flowy things. I like it. Okay. I really, really like this. There's thing like a, a labyrinthine element like in the middle of the city that brought you to like a separate space. Really, really cool. Just back to casually walking around. This is... Okay. I, I'm sorry. I'm being a massive nerd. I keep pausing because I have something to say all the fucking time. But... Nature taking over urban cities is one of my favorite things. It actually has a name, and I still can't remember it. It bothers me. I'll look it up. It's one of my favorite things in... You, generally, you see it in post-apocalyptic stuff when, like, human is gone, so nature comes back and takes over. But, like, to me, this is so beautiful. I love it. There's something so powerful about it. I don't know why. It's just, like, the flowers, everything just crawling through the cracks of the cobblestone. is just... Mwah, I love it. It makes me happy every time. <laughs> I'm sorry. Okay, you can climb. That's cool. You can drive a car. Can you actually control it? <gasps> you can actually drive. I, I, I was coping, but like negatively speaking, I was like, oh, surely it's just like you get into the car and then you choose a destination and gets you there. No, no, this is... GTA or like cyberpunk you actually get to drive around I have a massive problem with this kind of stuff is that um, I, I tend to I don't know why but I have this urge in me that makes me want to follow you know just traffic <laughs> so I end up like not speeding I end up just um, making sure to drive on the right lane, to follow, you know, signs and uh, red lights. <laughs> That's gonna be so annoying to watch me play. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, just listen to me. You take my time, get in the car. I'm gonna be careful. It's dangerous out there. So I assume you can get different cars, though. Yes, you can. There it is. <gasps> you can customize it. I don't care about cars, but I want to make mine pretty. Hell yeah. Wait, there's stats. Like, behind my big fat head, there are stats. And you can change the painting! <laughs> okay, I'm actually hype about this. I know it's... I really don't care about cars, but I'm excited for this. Damn, that was expensive, but she did pimp her ride. I wonder if you can get, like, a, a motorcycle. There's no one in the car. There was no one in the car. Get in the car. Oh god, that car paint job is cringe. I'm sorry, car lovers out there, if this is cool for you. I am I hope. Oh. That guy has a pack. Maybe it's my Uber Eats. Estate group? Can you buy apartments? Wait, there was a buy option. Wait. You can? What? Did you just buy an apartment level one? That should be endgame stuff. <laughs> That's outrageous. Wait, this is supposed to be a gacha game? I can buy my apartment and my car? And I can run over people, surely? You think there's gonna be like a, a poly system if you do crime? <laughs> can we go to the hookers? <laughs> can you imagine? <laughs> that would be wild. I mean, I'm sure another game company would do it. Um, like the people behind Snowbreak or, you know, Girls Fun Play 2. <laughs> Get laid. Is this where she bought the apartment? This place looks amazing. They have a bar. Okay. Seventh floor. Yeah, the more I look at her, uh, her, the more I like her. I really like her design. I think there's something, it's just like, it's... There's like a little bit of detail, but it's not too much. It's like, it's elegant. Oh, 
。海特洛世家政协会持证哈。Floating Butler。接下来，我将简单为您介绍新居的布局与配置。Kinda hot。请随我来。Is it floating or is it invisible? Invisible. 一栋公寓，坐享桥间地黄金地段。Or is it just a hologram? 购物、餐饮和娱乐场所。What is that massive plushie? 这边是会客区，而您的新居会否能招待更多的乘客？ I thought it would be a small apartment, like one room. It's a what the hell? How rich are you in this game? What is that thing floating in the air? The heck was that? No, this is outrageous. I feel like a superstar. I would feel like a superstar. I mean, I am, obviously. Because I'm going to be pulling for all the... It's a pool. Yeah, no. You think you can have pool parties with your favorite characters? There's no way you actually bought this place, though. Maybe you can only rent it for like a day. <laughs> That's cool. I want to see the other apartments, though. Oh, Ooh, nice. A lot of um, rain looks okay. I hope it won't, you know, mess up with um, FPS and stuff. Weather tends to be a bit rough, especially if it's going to be like a fun game. Probably not. I mean, I hope so. She has gravity power! Holy crap! That is so... Oh! That's a good uh, new little thingy. The gravity power that allows her to walk on any surface is insane. I love it. It didn't seem to last very long, but to be fair, that lasted long enough. She has to be a free character, because this is so useful for exploration. Especially if, like, the city is gonna be, like, huge and stuff. Or it's not, not because they switch specifically to this character before using it. So I assume this is something that she has. Maybe other characters will have it too. But otherwise, there wouldn't have been no need to switch, right? It's nice to see that NPC are reacting to what's happening, unlike some of the games out there, made by AAA Studio. <laughs> you guys remember? Uh, you guys remember Skyrim in space? Yeah, I remember. <laughs> I remember Skyrim in space. Will? I don't even remember its name. Okay. I will say, I'm a bit worried because I actually am not really into GTA kind of games. So like, uh, just watching the car drive around... Ooh, never mind, that's exciting. I did play Cyberpunk and liked it though, I will say, but GTA has never been my thing. So like, driving around in the car and just doing like a weird life and crime simulation is not for me. Yo, that ghost driver is going bananas. Okay. Hmm. Wow, SMH my head, stealing everything from ZZZ and the Inferno Rider. Am I right, chat? They just say chat to us, okay, no one. Jesus Christ. Oh, did he cut the car? Are we dead? That's <laughs> the end. <laughs> that was a brutal ending. Uh, okay, bye.